issues? Preening. Sure, we'll be along shortly. Listen, uh, about my visa. I desperately need your help, you know. I know. All right. What is it you want? A trade-off. I fix it so you can take out U.S. citizenship and you give up Valerie. <laughs> That's out of the question. It's not that you two don't deserve each other, but without you, she might turn into a human being I can tolerate. Forget it, love. I wasn't under the impression that you had a choice. Oh my god, I thought he was living upstairs! Just call the police woman and stop it, you 
me the whole story? I never, I never said I'm scared. Call 911! Stop kidding! Okay, just for the record, I was right. I still don't think you should judge people! Okay, Gloria. What scares you about Ryan and Mike? Losing control and falling down. Great. What else? Are you grabbing me? That's weird. What else? Looking foolish. All these bad thoughts are holding me back. So how do we get rid of these bad thoughts? We shoot them out. No, don't you dare. Run! Don't you dare! Run! Stop it! No! I said run! No, no, no! greatest feeling in the world. Lou was right. There was nothing to be afraid of. Thanks again. You're welcome. Everything was very nice. Have a nice night. Come, you startled me. 
Valerie needed something warmer. It was perfectly awful what happened to Sabella. You must be frightfully upset. Forget it. You so much as breathe heavy, I go straight to Valerie. <laughs> I don't think so, love. Because if you did, I'd have to inform Sabella of your nightly rendezvous with Derek. Be my guest. Ta-ta, Colin. or that it became a 2008 movie starring Steve Carell? Get Kim smart. Wait, get smart. That's it. Around the USA for 200. Arista County in this New England state borders Quebec and New Brunswick. Steve, what is Maine? That's the state. World holidays for 600, please. Pasque flowers bloom in the spring, just in time for this holiday from which they get their name. Melissa. What is Easter? Right. I'll take world holidays for 200. In Thailand, the month of May brings his enlightenment. 
His cremation comes later. Keenan. Who is Buddha? Good. Uh, the French mistake, 200. World book on this 18th century royal. Her frivolity and plotting helped undermine the monarchy. See, who is Marie Antoinette? Yes. Mel Brooks for eight. Gene Wilder has a warning about Mongo in this film. Don't do that. If you shoot him, you'll just make him mad. Melissa. What is Blazing Sounds? Yep, funny film. We love Mel Brooks for 200. Mel as this man in history of the world. The Lord Jehovah has given unto you these 15 smash, oi, 10, 10 commandments. Steve, who is Moses? Right. World holidays for 800. The month of Ramadan ends with Eid al-Fitr, meaning the breaking of this. Fast. Melissa. What is the fast? You are right. World holidays 400. In January, Christians celebrate his conversion. That would be the conversion of St. Paul. Melissa, we go back to you. World holidays for a thousand. San Salvador Island in this West Indies archipelago nation honors Columbus's New World landfall on Discovery Day. Keen? What is the Dominican Republic? No. Steve or Melissa? What is the Bahamas? You're in the negative, Kim, but Melissa makes the next election. Let's do We Love Mel Brooks for 400. Gene Wilder learns the brain donor's name in this film, Abby Normal, which Gene put in through a seven and a half foot long, 54 inch wide gorilla. Keen. What is Young Frankenstein? Yes. Uh, we love Mel Brooks, 1000. Mel's scheme to finally close the producers on Broadway by casting Larry David failed on this TV show. Melissa. What is Curb Your Enthusiasm? You got it. We'll do The French Mistake for 400. Two scandals of this 2007 to 2012 French president. Cash stuffed envelopes from a L'Oreal heiress and Pakistani arms deal kickbacks. Steve, who is Sarkozy? Yes. Around the USA for 600. This mountain range extends north from California's Lassen Peak into the Pacific Northwest. Keen? One of the Cascades? Yes, that's Now right. you see me, 4,000. This hard to spot insect lives up to its name and some can force a toxin containing blood from their exoskeletons. Melissa. What is a walking stick? That is right, and that takes you to 4,200. You have to leave, and we have to take a break. So we'll come back. Yes, TD and Texas Tourism want you. Tom Phil to lose the jokes. I like it. I'm in. All right. I'm in. <laughs> hey, we got these soap and tablets. Hey, so I was thinking later we'd... Oh, no, whatever you want. Call me later, or I'll call you later, or... Oh. So who's Mackenzie? You don't know her. Oh, I know Mackenzie. Cute. Popular. I am Mackenzie. I invented Mackenzie. And the way she's making my sister run around? <laughs> it's, it's kind of funny, but I can't have it. It's bad for the family. What are you doing? I was about to call Mackenzie. Yeah, I know. Now shut up and let me help you. The world is divided into two groups. Cool girls and girls like you. And you have been given a rare opportunity to move from the former to the latter. The latter to the former. Oh my god, you're such a geek. Now, do you want to be smart or do you want to be popular? I think I want to be popular. Of course you do. You just can't be so obvious about it. You have given Mackenzie way too much power, and you need to take some of that power back. It's her. Give me the phone. Here's what you're going to say. Hey, Mackenzie, I'm busy. Call me back later, then you hang up. No way. Then you're not getting the phone back. Just give it to me. Hey, Mackenzie, I'm busy. Call me back later, then you hang up. I can't. Do it. No, do it. Okay. Damn you. Hey, Mackenzie, I'm busy. Call me back later. That was hard. If it was easy, everyone would be popular. Welcome to the Simply Orange Tour. Go through it. This is our plant. These are our workers. And this is upper management. Oh. What you won't find around here is any flavoring. What incident? Well, we 
when Jessica got home, she called me suggesting that I get in touch with you. I didn't think it was important. Uh, Sibella, there were no journals in the boathouse. Journals? And the note. Was it really about your meeting with Phil Coyle? The Count never existed. This is Joe Walensky, my real first husband. I've been receiving these for several weeks now. You owe me, love, Joe. It's time to share the wealth, Joe W. Well, this one is from Milwaukee, and this from St. Louis, but there's no return address on either one. Well, this one's even more threatening. If you refuse, I'll make mincemeat out of you, signed J.W. He always had a crazy streak. I divorced him after I left Birch Falls. I hadn't heard from him in years until I got these notes. Anyway, yesterday I received the one Marion found asking me to meet him in the boathouse. I thought perhaps if we talked, I might convince him to go away. Jessica. How, how is she going to Oh, pretty well, I think. Sheriff Metzger is still taking her statement. And you, Derek, how are you holding up? Not, uh sure how I should respond to that, Jessica. Well, I suppose that depends how deeply you were involved with Marion. Well, you do know how to cut to the chase, don't you? For me, I think I was uh, trying to convince myself that I wasn't growing old. I'm her. That's much better. Yes. Yes. Sir, Steve Stoffel is our champion. He is from Decatur, Georgia. And you have a real to real tape of what? I do. This is the item that I'd rush out of my burning home to get if I could only grab one thing. It's a real thrill tape my dad made interviewing my big family on Easter Sunday, 1966. It's a real time capsule. They talk about the Beatles and the Vietnam War. Yeah, but real to real tape. Nobody in that. They gotta get that converted. Yeah. Okay, we're back into this with Melissa, who has a commanding lead at the moment, and she makes our next selection as we go on. Around the USA 400. This heavily populated island was formed by two volcanoes, Guayanai in the west and Ko'olau in the east. Keen, what is a water? You are right. Uh, now you see me, 800. This owl might have to make the cry in its name for you to spot it. Steve, what is a hoot owl? No. Keen and Melissa, what is the eastern screech owl? Keen, back to you. Uh, around the USA, 800. The St. Clair River helps the south end of this lake discharge into Lake Erie. Ontario. Melissa. What is Lake Huron? You are right. Hmm. Around the USA, 1,000. Nevada's southernmost town, it lies on the Colorado River across from Bullhead City, Arizona. And that would be Laughlin. Back to you, Melissa. French mistake, 600. In 1808, Napoleon put his brother in power in this country, booting King Ferdinand VII. The Peninsular War soon followed. Spain. Steve, what is Spain? That's the country. French mistake for eight. Answer there, the You have got 800, you can up to 1,000. You want to measure 1,000. Okay, here's the clue. It's a disgraceful skeleton, said Guy de Maupassant. You see it from everywhere. An unavoidable and horrid nightmare. What is the Eiffel Tower? Correct. <laughs> My accent probably helped you get that. Go again. French mistake for a thousand. His line was built after World War I to defend against attack from Germany. Maginot. Team? Was Maginot? Yes, Henri Maginot. Uh, now you see me, 600. The satanic leaf-tailed this isn't evil and doesn't want to sell you insurance. It just wants to remain unseen. Keen? What is a gecko? Gecko, yes. Uh, e before I, 600. To lose a sports contest by not having a full team ready to play. Four Melissa. Four. What is forfeit? With less than a minute to go, you are right. E before I, 1,000. All right, here's Kelly. When vinegar is added to hot milk, it sours and separates leaving behind the curds of this, the main protein in cow's milk, which is used to make a type of plastic. And that would be KC. KC. 
You thought of it, Steve, but too late. Melissa, pick again. E before I, 800. A deceptive action designed to divert attention away from one's real point of attack. Faint. Keen. What is it, faint? That's it. Now you see me, 400. Giddy up, and let's take a ride with the pick me this, which has but a single gill on the back of its head. Seahorse. Steve, what is a seahorse? Right. E before I, 400. Santa's speedy vehicle. Melissa. What is slick? Yes. And with that, you go to 6,000. And Steve is the one who gets to go first in double jeopardy. <laughs> Este no es un quinceañero, es una fiesta de compromiso. Mira. Gloria, stop being such a snob. Come over and meet my friend Julio and his wife. I'm sorry. You know. I think you're really going to hit off with Kay. So she actually said that you don't look good in bicycle shorts. Yes. You don't look good in bicycle shorts. Madness. Oh, and here she is. Okay, you know what? I can't be here. I'm, I'm going out for a Yes, yes, go. This, this could get up. Hello, Claire. You are a gutless weasel. Oh, yeah. No, I heard what you said to my boyfriend. You told Phil he was hysterical. You said he was this generation's Richard Pryor. Well, I am not the one that you need to apologize to. What are you babbling about? You owe me a murder. Okay, Claire, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't crush Phil's dreams. We had a deal. I told Cam about the bike shorts. No. No. The deal was to get Cam to take off the bike shorts. But guess what? He is still in the stupid bike shorts. Can I call you back? Turns out Cam was here the whole time, and he just heard everything I said. Did he just run into the bedroom and cry? Oh, yes, because that's what all gay men do. We got to resolve it. Yes, that is what he did. Sometimes I dream of saving the world, saving everyone from the invisible hand. The one that forces us to work for that. Who need your help, so it makes you insufferable. Hey, I'm entitled to a little of that. <clears throat> I mean, you, you find a, a lead, you follow it to its logical conclusion, and you catch the guy, not only without an alibi for murder, but red-handed on a whole other crime. <laughs> hey, besides, you are never insufferable? Me? Oh, sure. I suggest that you seriously consider a brain scan. Oh, right. How about when you finally figured out what was wrong with Adele's foot? We didn't hear the end of that for a month. The fact that your wife was unaware that she was walking around for six weeks with a nail in her shoe has, you must admit, a certain anecdotal quality. Especially when you realize she never once wore that particular shoe when she came limping in to see me. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. Oh, Mrs. Heff. Oh, Jessica. Sheriff, I... Uh, easy on the compliments, Mrs. Heff. The doc isn't handling it too well. Uh, actually, Sheriff, I came by to tell you that I think that you're mistaken. And although I can't quite prove who did murder Marion King, I'm almost certain that Phil Coyle had nothing to do with it. My goodness, James, you don't say. Come on, Mrs. Heff. We got enough on Coyle to put him away for a couple of lifetimes. He's no, telling his spire with his dad. On the off chance that it could prove mm -hmm. otherwise. He's telling his spire with his dad. Put a card check. Sure. Why not? And uh, the guy uh, who wrote the... Uh, one time no. Okay, who's... Well, uh, Mrs. F. Airline tickets to St. Louis, New Orleans, Memphis. You were looking signed for it. Yes. Sheriff, this one frightens me. Why? I think it means that unless we move very fast, there could be more murders. Coffee shop? For sure. It's for you, Monroe. Hey, listen, you two close up for me, okay? You got it, Mr. Turner. Good night, Mr. Turner. Hello? Yeah, well, I gotta talk to you, too. Tonight? Okay. I've gotta go out there. Come on, bro. Take 1600. This term for a carving, like on the front of a coin, means it's raised only slightly from its background. Boss. Team, what is a relief? Be more specific. What is a base relief? Yes, both of you. 
uh, Pop Quiz 400. This kid's song mentions a monkey and a mulberry bush. Theme. What is Pop Goes the Weasel? That's it. Pop Quiz 800. John Phillips helped organize this Northern California festival after the success of iconic jazz festivals held there. All right. Steve, what is the Monterey Pop Festival? That's it. Pop Quiz for 12. For breakfast, Post came up with Country Squares. Kellogg won that battle with a product still called these. Keem, what are Pop-Tarts? Yes. Pop Quiz 1600. This BBC music show debuted in 1964 playing all the hits for generations of music fans. Steve, what is Top of the Pops? That's it. Pop Quiz for 2000. In 1930, he left the Boston Symphony to become conductor of the Boston Pops, a job he held for 49 years. Steve, who is Fiedler? Arthur Fiedler is right, and you have just moved into the lead. American Poets for 800. His stints as a teacher included stops at the Pinkerton Academy and the State Normal School, both in New Hampshire. That American poet is Robert Frost. Steve? American Poets for 1,200. Answer there. <laughs> you have an $1,800 lead over Keem. I'll wager 3,000. All right. Here's the clue for you. This poet once claimed that English was the only language in which the pronoun I was written as a capital letter. Who is Cummings? E.E. E. Cummings is the one. Yes, indeed. He didn't use too many capitals. American Poets for 16. Her poems include 1492, Venus of the Louvre, and one about the mother of exiles. And that would be Emma Lazarus. Think of the Statue of Liberty. Back to you, Steve. American Poets for 2000. Omaha is a poem in the 1920 collection Smoke and Steel by this man, better known for writing about Chicago. Melissa. Who is Sandberg? Carl Sandberg, yes. Uh, words that start like the day of the week, 400. A triangular piece used for splitting or leverage. A wedge. Steve. What is a wedge? Yes. Days of the week, eight. The Brits call this simian tool an adjustable spanner. Keen. What is a monkey wrench? Yeah. Uh, words, 1,200. Last name of humorist James, collaborator with E.B. White on Is Sex Necessary? Steve? What is strunk? Nope. Keen or Melissa? What is James Thurber for Thursday? Keen, back to you. Word 16. Duelists would often demand it before they fought. Satisfaction. I demand satisfaction. <laughs> Kim. Where it's 2,000. Miscellaneous small items inexpensively sold at shops of the same name. Kim. What are frivolities? No. Knickknacks. Melissa or Steve? What are sundries? Huh. Sundries. Back to you, Kim. 20th century, 1,200. In 1929, this aviator lived up to his last name and flew over the South Pole. Steve, who is Post? No. Nope. Hamer Melissa? Who is Richard Bird? Flu. Keem, back to you. 20th century, 16. On August 23rd, 1927, these two Italian anarchists were executed, still maintaining their innocence. Steve, who are Sacco and Vanzetti? That's correct. Art for art's sake for 1,200. Popular for museum displays, it's an illuminated three-dimensional scene, often with a painted background. Steve, what's a diorama? That's it. Art for 800. It means to embed decorative material into a surface for ornamental effect, or the resulting design. Kim, what is an inlay? That's it. Uh, newspapers 800. In 1946, this Florida paper launched a clipper service for Latin America named for the seaplanes that carried it. Steve, what is the Miami Herald? That's the newspaper. Art for 400. From the Latin for shape, it's a statuette under 11 inches high and exactly eight letters long. Steve, what's a figurine? Good. Newspapers for 12. Mark Eads is on the Disneyland beat at the register of this county. Keen. What is Orange County? That's right. Uh, newspapers 16. It's the leading newspaper based in Phoenix. Keen. What is the Sun-Times? Nope. 
Melissa or Steve? What is the Arizona Republican? We have about a minute left, King. 20th century, 800. As war gave way to peace and then to war again, the battleship Wisconsin was mothballed three times and recommissioned twice. Her latest return to service was in 1988, and three years later, she became the last U.S. battleship to actively participate in a foreign war when she took part in this operation. Melissa. What is Desert Storm? Correct. 20th century, 2000. This 1935 act, a New Deal program, guaranteed workers the right to organize unions. That would be the National Labor Relations Act. Back to you, Melissa. Four newspapers, left. newspapers 2000. Answer there. Daily Double. For running out of time, the new trail sheet are almost 5,000. Let's do 2,000. Two only. Here is the clue for you in newspapers. L'Osservatore Romano was founded in Rome, but moved here in 1929 during Mussolini's era. What is Florence? No, move to the Vatican, Vatican City. All right, well, you won't get a chance to select any more clues. Let's see what the final Jeopardy category is. World Heritage Sykes. Let's see who the bus boy. You're watching Yes TV. This program is brought to you by Zoomer Magazine for people who want the absolute best. Film. I have seen professional comedians who could never have done that. You were unbelievable. I know it was you, Claire. You stole my index cards. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I thought I was protecting you. And if my plan had been successful, I would have robbed you of the greatest night ever. I'm sorry I'm awful. You're not awful. Mm -hmm. But I know I had this tonight. I know. Sometimes I just think my job is to make sure you guys don't fall on your faces. It's a hard job in the Duffy house. <laughs> we fall a lot. I know. We'll be I be of that girl, uh, uh, my name is Earl, that had that, you know, blonde, that had a good expression of the face. Thank you. Let's find out as I read this clue. 
the 14th century citadel of the Ho dynasty in this country was added to the World Heritage List in 2011. Players, you have 30 seconds. Good luck. with an even 6,000, and you wrote down the correct response, what is Vietnam. And you wagered and added 5,500. That brings you up to 11,500, and it takes us to Melissa. She's smiling because she too wrote down Vietnam. And her wager, 6,800, everything. That puts her into a tie with Steve Stoffel, our champion. Did he come up with Vietnam? No, he put down Korea. Did he risk anything? One dollar. One dollar. So Mark so he lost his loss of a dollar. And Melissa Spencer with 13,600. Okay, that's bad, Lonzo. We'll see you all tomorrow. We hope you will. Get her some money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can do that in the morning. transit manufacturer Bombardier fell on hard times in Quebec, that province immediately stepped forward with a billion dollar offer to help the company right the ship. The argument was Bombardier is simply too important to Quebec to allow it to fail. Could the same argument be made for the steel industry in Ontario? Should this province step in and assist, for example, SR Steel Algoma in Sault Ste. Marie, which is in bankruptcy protection as we speak? Let's debate this with David Orizetti, Ontario's Minister of Government right, and Consumer ahead. Services, and the MP. Okay. <sighs> 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 I was going to get you to take those uh, things that Tom sent. Put them on the TV up here. 
Okay, let's do it now. Here's your uh, thing you want me to copy to you. Mm -hmm. You want me to make a copy of this? Mm -hmm. You don't know your password for your mail, do you? I think I got it up here now, man. Yep. Yeah. So, we're super happy about that. And uh, we're just super happy to be here with Norma. This is... That's for me what this place is all about. You know, she's got her own voice. She's moving on in the world. And uh, she's a fabulous person. So, we're super happy about that, and uh, we're super happy to be here with Norma. This is that's for me what this place is all about. You know, she's got her own voice, she's moving on in the world, and uh, she's a fabulous person. So, we're super happy about that, and uh, we're super happy to be here with Norma. This is <laughs> he cuts it off before he says her, his, her name. Let me look at it and see if they can do all right. Oh, yeah. There's the pictures. You don't get her playing at all. She's uh, she Remember, she subbed for that guy and he was thanking her, telling everybody how she. Wait, there's the place, Tom's place. Yeah. 
Is that, is that is that where he did, did he just take that for fun or is that yeah, where they play? Okay, so I guess that's her right here, right? See her? Yeah. And uh, there she is right here. Mm -hmm. And there she is up there. Now, 